Yo, what is going on guys? I am bringing you NHL 14 Hockey Ultimate Team, The Deacistry. That is right, we are back. I can't believe we're back already. I remember be like I remember like a week or two before the NHL 14 pre-release came out, and now we're, the game's fully out, and our first pack, we get Lindback, Olez, and Giata. So those are our three good players. Uh, not too good, but you know, not they're not that bad. I mean, 81 goalie, that should be good, right? And then we're just going to move on. I sped this up for you guys and I have a bunch of other stuff in this. It's not just me going through this. This is not a live com. You can see right there on like the sixth day, you'll be able to get 1,250 pucks per day. So that's going to be awesome if you just sign in once in a while. But we're going to go into the packs and we're going to start with the worst one, which is just for playing the demo. So I wasn't expecting anything for this one. Maybe a few contracts just to start us off. And we open this pack. You will see that. It's not half bad. I mean, we have all like 50s on our team, and we got almost 270, so that should help the team. We got a bunch of contracts and a new logo, which, you know, it's it's pretty cool. It's not that cool, but, you know, I definitely want to have a unique logo this year, but I feel like everything's going to be extremely overpriced the first few uh, days, maybe like a week or so. Now we're going to open our next pack. This one, I wasn't expecting anything from this one either. It's for winning the tournament. I was expecting better than the first one, but uh, that didn't really work. I got, well, I got a 72, but besides that, it's like 60 overalls, and then I got a, uh, an okay goalie, but, and then I got a 5 plus skating, I forgot about that, but besides that, it wasn't a very good pack either, but now we are going to go to the big pack, the one and only season ticket, so this I was expecting somewhat of good, like something decent, and as you guys could see right about now, that this pack was very good, I got Steen, Whitney and a captain card. I mean, I thought that was really awesome in a free pack too. And you know, like maybe they weren't good in NHL 13, but 84 and 85 in a free pack sparting out and plus a captain card, like that's awesome. Now let's move on to another pack. This is the returning VP pass to coming back to NHL. Just, uh, you know, like returning members. And in this pack, I got Seth Jones. He's not very good. And I got a bunch of other like mid 70 players. But, I mean, that's pretty cool getting Seth Jones. I mean, he's a pretty promising rookie. And uh, I don't have many defenders who are very good, so he's definitely going to fit in. And uh, now we're just going to go through some of the pack openings I got. Starting off with pack opening number one. It's the Hut pre-order pack. And this is from EA. I believe you get 24 of these packs. And I first thought it was a silver pack, but then when I opened this, you guys will notice that it was not a silver pack. It was a gold pack, and I got Headman, which is awesome. I believe, yeah, I look at him here, and he was going for 13000 and then I realized, nope, can't sell him. But he's definitely going to be a big addition, especially with hitting in this game. It's so awesome. And then we got Tyler Kennedy, too. I mean, these free packs are good, honestly. Like, I opened two of them, and they've been really good so far. Like, I don't know if you guys remember NHL 13s, but besides the Giroux I got, everything else was, like, terrible. He gave you, like, five cards, too. And we're going to open, a, like, an actual pack with pucks, not Microsoft points, and as you guys will see... I thought it was going to be a bad deal, but we got Havlat, a puck bonus, Torres, and then Fistrick, and then uh, Bros. Never really heard of him. And we got 2,000 puck bonus, too. And Havlat, you guys will see how much he goes for in right about now, 20,000. Probably doesn't go for that much like right now since the game just came out. Like You might be able to get it, but I feel like not many people are going to be buying players. So that pack was definitely worth it. I mean, I feel like Havlat would at minimum go for like 13 or 14,000, the 2,000 puck bonus. And then the Capitals thing will probably go for 1,000. But... I mean, my packs, my uh, my experience with packs, right, like, from these three or four packs have been ten times better than NHL 13. Like, these have been amazing. Like, I don't know if you guys are noticing this, but, like, maybe, oh, Havlet's only an 84, but then they show the prices now, and, like, you're only paying, like, 8K for the pack, so I feel like it's a lot better. Like, even if, um, even if Havlet was only, like, 1 or 2K, I got the 2K puck bonus on top of the 1K from the changed team, so that's already half the pack. This next pack we're buying with pucks again, and this pack we acquire Haglin and Eric Johnson. Like that, that's another amazing pack. Haglin's got like 92 speed, and Johnson's a pretty big defender and pretty good. Sadly though, I did sell him. I don't think I showed it in the video, but I sold him for 6.75k. Probably could have waited and got more, and I kept Haglin. I feel like his price is going to go up a lot when people realize he has 92 skating. But he's not an overall, like, amazing player. He just has high speed. And, like, for Matt, Grabowski, stuff like that, NHL 13, they had high speed, and they didn't really sell for that much, so... I don't know, but I like playing with Haglin, and I feel like only getting, like, 2 or 3K is not worth it for him. But, yeah, like, I'm, I'm having a blast with this. I really like this. I really enjoy Hut. 
and I really hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, I really hope you guys are ready for the ride, and I want you to comment on this first episode, what you guys want to see most. Here's another pack opening. I'm not going to talk over this one. I'm going to talk about what I'm talking about now, but not going to talk about what I get in the pack. But I really want to know what you guys want to see from from my hut series, the Deca Street. Do you guys want to see majority gameplay, majority of buying and selling, which is going to be really hard in this game? Do you want to see majority of just uh, packs, which I don't know how many we buy in there, or do you want to see like majority of everything? Like this video, I'd say it's pretty much everything. There's gameplay at the end of my first game, and there's pucks, and there's opening uh, the packs. I don't know why I said pucks. I meant to say like my stats and stuff, like looking at the lineups and uh, opening my first pack and then opening these packs. And in this pack, I acquire Tenge, who's a pretty good player. He's not amazing, but I mean 84. Change team flyers and that 15 duration, which is pretty awesome. So that's, I think that's a, it's not an amazing pack, but it's probably pretty good. I mean, 15 duration of flyers, maybe sell for 3K. Tenge might sell for 2, 3K, so almost making my money for the pack. NHL 13, you pay 15K, you might make 2K, not even come close to making it. And plus Tenge, you know, he'd probably do pretty good on my team. Now we're going to go to another pack. That's right. Just keep buying them and keep buying them. I don't know why I keep buying them, but, you know, I did. And in this pack... I think this was the one that told me, no it wasn't, never mind. This pack was another pretty good, this was the last one, I didn't even mean to buy this one, I was just looking, but I acquire Erickson, change team Pittsburgh, Picard, who's a pretty good goalie, and Parento. And Parento, he's got really good stats, and he sells for like 6k, so if I sold Parento and Erickson, I'd already make my money back, and I believe I sold the Penguins thing for 2000, so definitely made my money back, but I'm going to keep Parento on my team, as well as Erickson and Picard. And obviously, that, oh, I don't know why I said that weird. Obviously, that was a pretty good pack. Now we're going to go to the Winter Classic thing, which I thought you got Winter Classic players for a second, but nope. You just get a Winter Classic jersey for both teams, and then you get the uh, arena, which is pretty cool, but I feel like it's going to be extremely overused since I feel like the majority of people are probably buying it from GameStop, so they're going to have it. So the game I played, I didn't even use the uh, Winter Classic jersey, as you can see right here. You guys could see right here, what is this? Like, why did the goalie run out and then just kick it back, and then boom, it's in the net. I was really mad when they scored on that. But I do come back with Haglin, do a pretty nice move, one-touch deke almost, and then just put it in. I can't believe I scored there, but, you know, that's a good goal. I, I had a move similar with that Haglin. I went through three of their players, but I didn't score. And then here comes Tyler Kennedy, a backhand, forehand, pretty nice goal. And it's 2-1, so I'm feeling pretty confident. So I was like, oh, the first goal by him, you know, that won't mean anything. And then here comes a snipe with... Oh, my. Havlet. Sorry, Havlet. I don't even... I'm getting confused here. But here comes a snipe from Havlet. And then he comes down, and... Yeah, I kind of was shocked there, too. I don't know how that went in. But okay. It was a really far pass. And then randomly, the goalie doesn't make the save. So I was a little bit mad there. Two bad goals on his part. He comes in, just snipes it. And I was... <sighs> I was like, what is going on? He had two terrible goals, and I believe the shots were 22 to 11 at that point, and I was like, oh, God, if I lose. But I'm not going to lose. Not. Nah, I did lose that game, and I was really mad. Oh, man, it was just a devastating loss for the first game. So, yeah, guys, make sure you comment what you want to see next episode. I have never started out with a loss in Hut, so I got to make sure I turn it around soon. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. I need your time When everything's wrong You make it right I feel so high I come alive I need to be free with you tonight I, I need, need your love. love You know I need your love